Gracias, gracias. Uh, thank you. Um, during the last five centuries, education has been essentially the same. There are classrooms, teachers, students, the teacher speaks, and the students listen. And in corporate learning, things haven't changed into much. There is a teacher that communicates with one direction with the students. But what could happen if we change this? If we let the students do hundreds of interactions between them, challenging between them in order to know who knows more about a specific topic, even without the teacher? And what could happen if we could do this outside the class, with a game, at every imaginable place, in every possible moment, with a powerful game dynamic that I call challenge someone. I will try to explain that a little bit. So what is the challenge someone uh, gamification technique? Well, it consists of uh, a player challenges another player with something that takes a short amount of time. We can see that in video games like um, Words of Friends, Draw Something, or Quiz App. Quiz App is one of the, the most well-known uh, quizzes games. But I am interested in, in, in why it's so great, this game dynamic. It's really interesting because it's massively social. So a player needs to select another player, carefully select it. So that, this is related with, with something we call social relatedness. I need to find uh, with who I want to play, and maybe I need to search, I need to make it favorite, and then also I need to challenge him. When I challenge him, the other, the opponent, uh, receives an invitation and is somewhat forced to play. So it's a friend I need to play, and that means it's vital because I get invited. I am somewhat forced to play, and if I lose the challenge, I will ask for a rematch. So it's really massive, and this is something really interesting. So I'm interested also in how we can apply this in, in a corporate world and in education. So who are the players in, in a corporation? We can think in, in employees, of course, but what about sales forces? What about people that, that sell at the stores? What about channels? So how I can challenge my channel? How I can make the channel think about me? Also in education, we can find, well, my colleagues uh, at, at the school, at the university. And another interesting thing is to think about who I can challenge. I mean, are there any rules that constrain uh, the people I can challenge? Because maybe we have different levels of knowledge, and that means that I can, I can only play at, at my same level. Or what about teams? Can I challenge a team? I work in a store. Can I challenge another store? How this will work? So I focus on challenging with quizzes. So you know quizzes, queries, uh, questions, answers. You divide your knowledge in, in those pieces of information. You include images. We, we built a quiz like a set of uh, n questions, usually seven questions. And we let the game repeat those questions at a reasonable rate because what we want is to promote memorization. So if I answer a question maybe two or three times on a game, I will memorize it and I will, I will be faster answering the question. To be fast is something really important too. Sometimes the player has a fixed amount of time to, to answer and sometimes it has more time because maybe the question is more complex. So we organize our uh, quizzes in campaigns. So quizzes happen in campaigns. And what is a campaign? It's a kind of battle that lasts some days, usually maybe three, four, five days. And all the quizzes are about a specific topic. And the battle includes maybe a set of questions. Usually for five days of duration, we think about 200 or 300 questions. The, the number of the questions is related to the duration of the, of the battle, because if, if we have a large amount of questions and the battle is too short, I won't cover all the knowledge. 
And the opposite is also another thing that, that it doesn't work because if the battle um, is too long and the set of questions is too short, well, the player will be boring. So, so that's another problem. And what type of, of campaigns? What type of battles? Well, every battle is about a topic. So imagine things like uh, the, the knowledge about the new collection or, or some kind of a specific let's say, diet, the desochet diet, or let's say sales techniques, uh, volume one, for instance. That will be packs of knowledge, packs of questions. Let's see some applications. So imagine that, that uh, I have a company, uh, a retail company with maybe 200 stores, mm, multiplied by four, 800 sales people that, that works on the stores, and I want to train them. So imagine questions about product knowledge so they can know a lot better the products. So when a customer approaches, they can explain perfectly uh, in what consists the, the product. Let's say there is a watch and, and of what is, is made up that, that watch, what kind of components, or, or things about, about fashion. Imagine cross-selling. I like a lot that because, because I think there is a, an incredible opportunity to, to transfer knowledge to those salespeople in stores so they can combine and suggest products that they can sell together, and this satisfies a lot more the customer. So they increase the, the, the medium ticket because they, they sell two items, but the customer is satisfied because these two things combine. So marketing are experts in, in design, and they can think in, let's say, 300 pairs of products that fit so well that the customer says, wow, that's great, this fits and I want to buy both. But how we can transfer 300 pairs of products to 800 people? That's a problem. With an application where there is a lot of questions like this, with what combines better this blue pike polo shirt, A, B, or C, you can try that knowledge and you can try how fast you choose one. You have only two seconds or three to answer in front of a customer. So to be fast, to train the reflexes, is also something interesting. In this case, I can tell you that the green one is not the, the, the right answer. So arc against competition. There are businesses like car dealers. If I sell the, Merce the new Mercedes C-Line, um, maybe the, the customer will approach me and say, look, I, I like also the, the, the BMW number three, the Model 3, which is the, the competitor. So I need to, to, get to be trained about what are the differences and how the C, my C uh, Mercedes is better than the, the, than the BMW. Also sales techniques. So how do we want people to react when a customer enters the store? Um, what happens, what kind of dialogues I want to promote, what happens when someone asks me for pants? Do I, I say to the customer, I tell, look, let's go to the pants section and look yourself, or do I ask him, in what occasions do you want to use those pants, which is more friendly and more open. So what, what I want my people do at the stores? Repairs, there are a lot of questions about how to fix this, uh, what, 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 is, what is first, is screwing this, is uh, opening this. So there are a lot of questions about service that, that uh, can be done with quizzes. Knowing the company, who is who, so who is this guy with the picture, uh, what, what is his responsibility, uh, what procedures, what I need to do to, to do this, um, what, for instance, for social relatedness also, uh, what this guy may like, uh, what uh, kind of a sport she likes, he likes. So things like that is also interesting to, to quiz. And also real customer stories, kind of customer stories. So in a consulting company, let's say a thousand people, it's very difficult to know um, that every one of the thousands uh, know about what they, the company made with every single project they have. So a consulting company has a lot of knowledge that is, uh, is not spread. If, if I know, Im imagine that I, I get trained about uh, how we help on Europe Car or how we help in Red Bull. 
Um, that will be great because if I have the same situation in front of a customer, I can link that, I can explain that. So there are a lot of opportunities to sell more or to help problems. Product launches. There are a lot of industries that have uh, well, uh, product launches in fashion, for instance, for every season. Uh, but product launches in electronics is crazy, really. Every week, pretty much, you have uh, different kind of mobiles and technology tablets. So you need to train people with the, last, with the latest news about that. And also education. So kids like games. Um, they, they would like to compete in a friendly game, maybe with, with other uh, mates in, in the class. So let's see a real case. Um, we've made a campaign uh, with a customer, uh, 20 players, four days, 285 questions about a family of products related to nutrition. So seven questions per challenge, they launch almost 4,000 challenges. So that means if you multiply those 4,000 uh, by seven questions by two persons that made the challenge, they answer 50,000 questions in four days. That means 2,600 <laughs> per person. That's a lot. They were engaged, asking rematches, and, and, and earning points. Well, the platform tracks everything. I mean, uh, how how is every day, how is, what is the number of challenges made? So the number increased the first day. Well, the people reacted uh, and tried to, to understand how the, the, the application worked. The second day, it, it increased. And this is what I call the Barca effect, because it was on Friday, and people were looking at the, <laughs> the football. Anyway, it was increasing, so that's great. Then the knowledge gain. So at, at that campaign, not everyone knew about those products. So the people that, that, that even didn't know before, before that campaign, they started mm, choosing the right answer, because there are three, answer, three different answers. So that means that a 33%, more or less. But if you apply the logic, you can reach a little bit more. That's the, the day one. But after three or four days, this, incre this increases a lot. And pretty much all the campaigns ends up with 85, between 85 and 95 percent of, of uh, choosing the right answer. Then knowledge comprehension. So as every question, you can tag with, you can categorize if this question is uh, a product question and which family of products. If this question is about arguments, is about uh, theory, is about whatever, you can track. What is the real knowledge of your people uh, regarding these uh, categories? And this is also really interesting. Well, we used all of this to create and launch, I think it was the 1st of April of this year, Retame, Challenge Me, which is, um, is a game and a web platform. It's a game that runs on iPhone and, and iOS, on mobiles and tablets. And it's a web platform that we sell to companies where they assign a kind of game master that creates campaigns and uploads their own content. So usually they are uh, people from human resources or product managers, so uh, people that can create questions, they upload the questions, they create the campaigns, they configure the behavior because there are a lot of things to configure, like imagine how much seconds do we want the the answer, uh, the, the question to appear before the answers. That, that's what we call reading time. A lot of people read at different speed. So we allow the same reading time uh, to, to, to uh, the, the players. And then the, the questions, the, the answers appear. This is the platform. We sell that as a subscription. And this is how we, how we market it.
Well, finally, the benefits of using that. So it's a game. It should be a game. It will be a game always. That's uh, one of the first uh, uh, principles, to be a game. It's fun, it's engaging, it's social. You can use everywhere, in every moment. Um, we have some secret confessions of some players that use on the... Um, well, on the, on the VC, on the... Um, <laughs> well, uh, exactly. Um, you can transfer knowledge at a, a, a faster speed and massively. You can reach all your stores, people there. You can reach your channel. So challenging distributors is, 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 is great because it makes them think about you. This is really interesting. And the last thing is that in that game, every minute you play, you learn. Thank you.